Nico. I'm a fairy from the dream world. It's somewhere between, you know, heaven and earth. Anyway, you ever heard the story of Jade Cocoon? Monsters wander through the forest. And people live in fear of them hiding in magical protection. That age is said to have lasted a long time. Yet that entire pack of monsters is said to have been sealed in the wormhole forest by the brave actions of a single hunter. So, pretty amazing, huh? Time passed and the saga faded to legend. And after a long period of silence, the seal was finally about to be broken. But, however... The time to assemble has come again. Save the world from the beasts of darkness. This recent Help Wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising, make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out, starting today, you too can be a hero. Yeah, magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls, much less attract them. Ta-da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahoo. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Kahoo Master. You call that normal? Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahoo begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahoo's fate? This is how Kahu and I met. He who soils divine sleep, harboring calamitous darkness. Poor Kahu's heart was shared by another violent Kahu. A heart divided into light and shadow cannot be one or the other. Only the strong survive, and this is the law of the wild. Humans, beasts of knowledge, imperfect creatures who know too much. This world you see is full of traps that test humans like Kahoo. Kahoo touched my cocoon, but this too was one of those traps. I was summoned from the dream world to take the role of leading these imperfect beasts and determining their fate. Not what you'd call a dream job, huh? Even chance meetings are the result of inescapable karma. Even so, that's a really ugly tale. Oh well, what you gonna do? Actually, that clumsy Kahoo just stumbled into some strange flower trap. A mysterious girl appears before the eyes of a half-dreaming Kahoo. Is she a friend or is she a foe? Well, as you can see, there's no way on earth she'd be a foe. So has our heroine finally arrived? Hey, wait! I'm a woman and I'm right here! What's the meaning of this? As it happened, as it always happens, Kahoo entered a stifling, burning hot forest in pursuit of the orb. Until meeting the funny looking old man and having a chat, you thought, what an easy victory. But then, that old man is extraordinarily cunning. And before you know it, he's in competition for the orb with a simple little boy. Kahoo, you succeeded in walking right into it. You call this exciting? I can't believe it. I don't know why, but there are people who are very scholarly and want to put values on things. According to Dr. Gill, forest researcher, Kahoo is a heritage of humanity. But he's really just a little brat. With a sudden declaration of rivalry from the good doctor, they enter a competition for the orb. But I imagine he's a good man at heart. But essentially, he's a forest fanatic. Will this match be an easy victory? You know the Sweet Knights? These famed beast hunters are supposed to be incredibly popular throughout the temple. There's cool cinnamon, and that of choco, incredibly cute vanilla, and the leader, coconut. 
With all these women of beauty and intelligence, isn't this just like a girl's game? I'm getting ahead of myself, but these girls become the rivals of Kahoot. So is this just the petty jealousy of fans? Or trouble with women? What you gonna do? Anyway, it looks like things are getting lively. But still, I can't accept this. The dragon god Camule resides within the body of Levant, right? Why couldn't he stop Levon? But him in heaven, he was one of the elite. But what could he have been doing? Or maybe, was the darkness in Levant's heart a darkness so deep that it drove the dragon god mad? What you gonna do? This is big trouble, Kahoo. <laughs> no problem. Get it on! Oh. 